Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and today we have a little surprise. Um, so far I've, I enjoy the Akko Mod Studio boards, but so far I've not had much luck with any of their plastic models. Um, I recently did a review of both the 3068 and the 5075. And I mean, for the price, I just thought they were, they, they weren't that good for pre builds. Then I saw that this came along and I decided to go ahead and see. Because I mean, I don't mind putting a little bit of work in this one, but I just felt that the way that that one came. The 5075 with switches and keycaps just did not sound that good, especially for the price, 100 bucks. Now this one, um, I think it's listed for 59. I got it on sale for 48.99 um, plus five dollars shipping, something like that. Roughly 50 something dollars tax. So now a bare bone, where you know I actually get to choose my switches and keycaps. I don't mind putting a little bit of work into it. But, I don't know, a pre-built that's pricey. Now, I, I have bought many budget pre-builts under $30 that obviously need a lot of work, but they're $30. So today we have, oh, and also they have this color. Ooh, starry night. So now this color wasn't even available um, for the, I, thought, I think it only came in black and white uh, for the 5075. But this one, PC plate, Now we do have these new stabs. They weren't good on the other one. We'll see on this one. I'm gonna do a stock test, and then I'm also gonna do a, um, once I, I do just a little bit of modding, uh, and we'll see what it sounds like. But uh, out of the box, I mean, again, I, I do feel that it's pretty light. The bottom of the case reminds me of a I want to say the uh, Nimble Pack, I believe, the RK68K uh, or Pro, one of those. Um, anyway, I'm sure they share manufacturers. Now, they do have pads, PE, PE foam pads. I don't recall them if they did on the other one or not. They could have. Um, and the, uh, the stabilizers are actually lightly lubricated. Usually just a sea of glob, but here they are just slightly, lightly. There's not a big glob of it, so I'm actually impressed about that. Um, so, and notice there's no knob. I believe it comes with a couple of choices, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, we've got a gold knob. There seems to be. Something? Oh, oh, that's our cable. All right, so they just put one knob in the box. I know with the mod series, uh, I believe they come with two, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got a, a decent switch cap puller, although since I've gotten this one, this is what I've been using. Um, we've got a, your basic USB-C to USB-A, and then we, for this one, we have a gold knob. Oh, it's actually, I mean, it does have the plastic inside, but it's it's got some, uh, it's substantial uh, for being a, uh, uh, you know, one that has a plastic piece, but it's just for the, the D shape so that it can fit on to, you know. all right. So, now since we're dealing with Nako, I decided to go ahead and use some Nako switches. To stick with the theme, why don't we just do the Aqua Oceans? Oh. Alright, 
I'm gonna go ahead and load these up and then we'll uh, find a set of keys. looking nice now on one thing I do have to mention on the uh, the, the pre-built 5075 that I had um, I left the standard plate on there which I believe is an aluminum plate but it did come with an extra polycarbon but I mean these uh, these are some pretty sturdy some of the sturdiest um, plate mounted stabs now I wasn't impressed with them before oh that one's a little loose uh, that one is a bit loose. Should have no, tested them all before I spoke, but we can fix that. So now, let's go ahead and find a nice keycap set to go with this, huh? All right, so yeah, I know this is north-facing, but I'm not worried about north-facing interference. Um, let's go with the Akko keycap set. Now, I know that blues aren't going to match exactly, um, but, and because I don't have the uh, Akko ASA clear one, so we can't really do a, an oranges to oranges comparison. But I'm just trying to get us close. So this is an Akko product. So Akko keyboard. I mean, Akko keycaps going on an Akko keyboard. So we'll go ahead and load her up with this. And then uh, see what, what this kit sounds like. I mean, like I said, the blues don't match, but I actually kind of like it. I don't think it's going to be the final keycap set, but so far I'm actually... <sighs> the other one did have an aluminum plate, and it had white wine tactile switches, which I'm never familiar with, and I can't say I was impressed. They were a little bit more tactile than a brown, but not very much, I guess. Um, they were lightly lubed but the entire keyboard just did not sound good stock. Let's see what this one sounds like, eh? Oh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leap out of here. I'm just gonna do the stock. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just do a full mod because as I was putting the keys in there, I was just like, you know, I just wanna go ahead and see what it sounds like stock, and see what it sounds like with some mods. I'm just gonna do some basic mods. Um, I don't know if it does have a little bit of hollowness in there, um, I know, like I said, this this bottom case kind of reminds me of the um, the LTC nim nimble back, and I did do a silicone pour in a couple of those, so I might do a silicone pour, I might do noise co, um, but I'm definitely going to. I don't need to do the PE foam mod because it's already got the pads, uh, but I'm going to do the tempest mod, and then I'm also going to see if I can add any more flex to the gaskets. Although, I mean, it's not bad. That PC plate definitely does make a difference so so yeah until next transmission um keep calm keep it on